Hello everybody, welcome back to another video from my iPad. I do have some sad news in that my laptop is not actually going to be repaired because Lenovo couldn't get their shit together and send Geek Squad the correct part in order to repair my laptop. Geek Squad made numerous attempts to get it and Lenovo kept sending them the wildly wrong and incorrect part and apparently they just can't get the part for it. So I was contacted by Geek Squad telling me that they couldn't repair my laptop. I'll be getting it back, which means I can use it as basically a glorified desktop because it does still function but I'm going to be in the market of looking for a new laptop so again I don't know how long these iPad videos are going to last but unfortunately it's still videos on my iPad um I will sorry uh again this is not going to be edited I will do what I did last time in that I will basically read out all of the books that I have read since that last update and I will simply give authors, titles, uh, star ratings. I won't give any thoughts. Again, if you have questions as to my thoughts on any of these, please feel free to comment down below and I will answer them. And I'm going to be doing this kind of on the fly, as you've probably guessed, like I'm getting my phone out right now. And I will try and do my best to not repeat anything that I already read. I'm not entirely sure where I ended last time, which is not necessarily a good thing. So let's see where I think I ended last time. If I repeat anything, I do apologize. Um, I think the last one that I mentioned last time was Brilliance by Marcus Seiki, which I gave a four out of five. Um, so after that, we've got Good Omens, The Nice and Accurate Prophecies of Agnes Nutter by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. Except the Dying, the first book in the Detective Murdoch Mysteries by Maureen Jennings. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. I will note that I only read it because I discovered the television series, which is filmed in Canada and in and around Toronto. And I love Toronto and all that jazz, so that was why I read it. I liked the TV series more than I liked the book. The Copper Gauntlet, the second book in the Magisterium series by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars and really enjoyed it. The I read the entirety of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series by Rick Riordan. So that is The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. I gave all of these book th books 3 out of 5 stars. And I will say that, no, I had not read these books before. My brother had, and he really loved them, and so I finally gave them a shot. And I can see why he liked the series, but it really wasn't quite for me. I read The Well of Ascension and the Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, so that's books two and three in the Mistborn trilogy, and I finished up that trilogy, and I rated both of those five out of five stars. They were absolutely brilliant. I read the first two books in the Tao series by Wesley Chu, so that's The Lives of Tao and The Deaths of Tao. I rated both of these a 4 out of 5 stars. And that's it. That's all I've read so far, and again, predominantly because it, I mostly read some series or I was listening to them. I'm also currently doing a reread of the His Dark Materials trilogy by Philip Pullman. I've already listened to the audiobooks once, I'm about to listen to them again because I love it, and that podcast, which I'm a part of, for book review is going to be doing several episodes on his dark materials closer to December. As for the episode dealing with an ember in the ashes, it is currently in the final stages of sweetening the mix. I just need to be able to listen to it, which uh having issues with that since I'm on my iPad only and it's a wave file. But that aside, I'm going to be listening to it so the mix can be sweetened and tightened and then that'll be out. So hopefully that will be out within a week or so. Outside of that, the only other thing I'm doing is that I am moving next weekend, or this coming weekend, it is Sunday, <laughs> on Saturday, oh my god. Uh, I'm moving, so I probably won't have a video out that week. Uh, and so, yeah, the only thing I'm doing is something maybe I'll show you guys, which is a journal-ish project. I, I think they're called Smash Books now, I don't know. It's like a journal meets a scrapbook, and it's proving very fun because I'm going through all of my UK adventures at the moment and it's fun to reminisce and sort of free associate think. I don't know if anybody here cares about that, but if you do, I'd be happy to show off some of it and you all can laugh at how not creative I am when I'm not on a computer. So, yep, that's it for me today, you guys. So until next time, cheers.